humans typically have 46 chromosomes. This is our diploid number. Diploid means the nucleus of our body cells contains two sets of homologous chromosomes which carry the genes controlling the same traits. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about meiosis. Specifically, we will explain the different stages of meiosis as well as its role in sexual reproduction. Meiosis is a type of cell division that produces haploid sex cells or gametes. It is another type of cell division that takes place in the ovaries or testes of animals including humans. During sexual reproduction, the haploid sperm cell unites with haploid egg cell to form a fertilized egg or zygote, which is diploid. In sexual reproduction, the haploid gametes will then be produced. Like mitosis, meiosis begins in interface and later undergoes all different stages of cell division. However, in meiosis, the parent cell divides two consecutive times called meiosis 1, which is reductional division, and meiosis 2, which is equational in nature. In prophase 1, the nuclear membrane and the nucleoli start to disappear. Centrosomes move away from each other towards the opposite poles of the cell and the spindle fibers form between the centrosomes. This is where synapsis and crossing over occurs. Synapsis is a unique event in meiosis 1 that involves close association between homologous chromosomes. Homologous chromosomes pair and intertwine. After synapsis, crossing over occur. This is where homologous chromosomes exchange material to one another. In this picture, you can see the duplicated chromosomes of the parent. Synapsis causes the formation of tetrad or a fourth sister chromatids in the set. After crossing over, you can see that homologous chromosomes change parts. There are now parts of the maternal chromosome that originally belongs to the paternal chromosomes. In the same way, some parts of the paternal chromosomes are now in the maternal chromosomes. Crossing over rearranges the genetic information coded in the sister chromatids. Such rearrangement increases the genetic variability of the daughter cell. Take note that synapsis and crossing over only happens in prophase 1. In metaphase 1, homologous chromosomes are oriented from each other at the opposite poles, and the spindle fibers are attached to their kinetochores. Just like the anaphase of mitosis, spindle fibers pull the chromosomes towards the opposite poles of the cell. However, in anaphase 1, the homologous chromosomes are pulled to the opposite poles of the cell instead of scissor chromatids. Towards the end of anaphase 1, each pole has the same number of chromosomes. Upon reaching the end of the poles, each will have haploid set of chromosomes during telophase 1. Cytokinesis occurs simultaneously with telophase 1. After cytokinesis, two daughter haploid cells are produced. Since the number of chromosomes is halved from parent to daughter cells, meiosis 1 is also referred as the reductive division. Second mitotic division is equational. For example, there is no further reduction in chromosome number. It is not preceded by DNA replication. It begins in the two haploid daughter cells of meiosis 1. The process is similar to mitosis which involves the separation of sister chromatids. In prophase 2, spindle fiber forms around the chromosomes. Metaphase 2 chromosomes line up at the equator. Centromeres will then divide in anaphase 2. Chromatids move to the either side of cell and lastly, meiosis 2 ends with telophase 2 and cytokinesis where the cytoplasm divides. Spermatogenesis is the production of sperm by the process of meiosis. Spermatogenesis begins at age of puberty and continues until old age. Oogenesis is the production of egg cells or ova by meiosis. It begins during fetal development. Puberty in female triggers the primary oocytes to continue their development. 
In this video lesson, we discussed that meiosis is the type of cell division that produces haploid sex cells or gametes. Meiosis 2 has two stages. The first stage is meiosis 1, the reductional phase, and second stage is meiosis 2, the equational stage. And lastly, meiosis 1 results in two daughter cells. Meiosis 2 involves the two daughter cells producing two more daughter cells for the grand total of four daughter cells. If you like more science videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.